What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another match reaction with the Irish Hotspur. Big up yourself, Dave. Chelsea 2, Tottenham 2. Um, how did you assess that game today? Uh, look, first of all, the main thing is we didn't lose. That's, I'm delighted with that. <laughs> yeah. um, no, look, first half, I have to say, was very, very poor. It was much of the same of what we've seen last season. Just, you know, giving the ball away, chasing the ball around. Um and look, I could see what Spurs were trying to do. We were trying to get Sonny in behind very, very quickly. I understand that, but my problem is with it is if you're overhitting the passes constantly and not giving Son a chance to get on the end of them, you have to then start being able to keep the ball and start. Because if you can keep the ball, then you can start putting pressure on Chelsea. And we never really got to do that in the first half. Um, even their goal was sloppy. Like, Lucas tried to cut inside. Look, he shouldn't be cutting in, in, in into the middle of the pitch like that. But where was the midfield? Where did they go? Where did Skip and Heiberg go? And then... You know, the defenders, Tanganga and Dyer, that was awful. You can't keep backing off like that. You cannot allow them to have a shot on goal. One of them has to drop and one of them has to go and engage. It's that simple. It's just about communication and talking to people. And hopefully when Romero comes in, he'll, he'll rectify that one straight away. So that shouldn't be happening again. And then, look, the rest of the first half, I thought, was pretty poor, to be honest with you. Yeah. Mm. yeah, but then how were you impressed with the character we showed in the second half? Despite maybe some of Chelsea's better players coming off the pitch, would you still think it showed something to come back from 2 0 down and, and get back in the game and uh, and finish the game the stronger? No, look, it does. It shows a bit of character, to be honest with you. It's exactly what we need. Look, um, we're all aware that they did make changes, but at the end of the day, we could have just, um, you know, our, our we could have kept our heads low and just kept on giving away possession and being sloppy. We didn't. We picked it up. We kept on fighting. We retained the ball a lot better in the second half. And we were able to build the pressure on them and get the goal. Um, look, we should have had a penalty um, in the first few minutes when Doherty was in the box. That should have been a penalty. But look, you know, they, they, they got their second goal. Again, it was a poor goal. Look, Doherty down the right-hand side. I'm sick of things coming in from that side. You know, he has to go out and engage better. Then the ball comes across and... I don't want to get on the lads back, but if you watch it back again, Harry Winks jumps out the way. He jumps over the ball and lets, lets Alonso play it back. That's unforgivable. You cannot do that, especially after coming on. But look, then we got a foothold in the game. We started playing well and we got our goal. The first goal was very fortunate. Deli Ali, look, you know, kind of ricocheted into Lucas Moore's part. He took a shot and a ricocheted over Mendy. But I'll take it. I don't care how they go in as long as they go. You know, that's all that matters. And then, look, one player I, I, I do want to big up, although I actually thought he was poor up until he got his goal, was Steven Bergvine. Because Come on, Dave. That's what I'm talking about. No, look, credit where credit's due. It's exactly what, we've been, what I've, been, I've been asking from is when he gets on the ball, beat your man. You have to pace all day long. Beat him, which he done. And then end product. He finished the ball. What more do you want? Like, this is what we expect from the lad. This is what we want to see from the lad, whether it's on the left or whether it's on the right. And uh, hopefully that can do his confidence the world of good now he's got his goal. And hopefully he can flourish coming into the new season because we're going to need him for the first few games because Son will be up top. We don't know what's going on with Harry Kane. So it's important that like Son will be playing up top, that when Bergwijn is playing, that he can do exactly what he's done there today and get his goal or, or just an end product, some sort of some sort of contribution towards a goal, whether it's an assist or goal. And then credit where credit's due to the guy. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, we had um, a debutant today in uh, Golini. Um, how did you assess his performance today? Um, look, the two goals, you couldn't really do out and about, to be honest with you. But apart from that, he was sharp. Straight after Bergvine scored, actually, they went down the other end and had a chance. And it uh, could have very easily went through his leg. He didn't. He made the save. Um, no, look, I like the looks of him. And what I do like is he, he looks comfortable on the ball. A couple of times there, he got the ball at his feet and he was comfortable on it. He wasn't rushed. He wasn't panicking. So that can only bode well going forward. And look, a lot of guys, a lot, a lot of fans think this guy's coming in to play a second fiddle. Lloris has one year left on his contract. This guy's competing for the number one jersey. And it's just going to make, you know, Lloris hopefully up his game, Galini be up his game. So we'll have two keepers at the best. So no matter who's in goal, we can be comfortable. Yeah. And um, in terms of uh, the back line today, you had Doherty, Tanganga, Dyer, and Regulon. Um, what players do you expect of them to be starting against Man City? Um, Regulon, 100%. I definitely think he'll be starting at left back. Um, look, it's the best of dumb and dumber, isn't it, really, at right back? So I think <laughs> Matt Doherty. Um, centre backs Romero I'm hoping will come in and start against City um, Dave I, I can just see that smile come over your face when you mention Romero 
you know what it is though it's the dark hearts it's the nastiness like too many times people are allowed to run at us and we don't engage them mm-hmm. or we don't take them down and, and 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 give away the free kick when sometimes you need to so i can't wait for him to come in it's just a dog mentality that this guy's going to bring mm. um but look and unfortunately i do think derek eric dyer probably will play against city alongside him because he seemed to have played all the games so far so i do think captain it will be as well Dyer's. Yeah, he's been captain and he's been the mainstay at centre back, you know. So it does look like he's going to play. And uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. But look, even Eric Dyer, look, hopefully Moonboots can can um, can put things right this season and have a good campaign. Is there that first half? Did it worry you um, how close we are to the start of the season and how 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 much it looked like men against boys in that first half? Yeah, it really did. It was really. I'm not going to lie. It was really pissing me off. To be honest with you, it was like more of the same of last season and. I was just sitting there, I was like, I can't do another season of this laboured performances. I can't do it. But I have to remember, look, these are, these are whether I like it or not, I know they're arrivals, but they're, they're, they're Champions League champions. They're, they're the best team in Europe at the minute. You know what I mean? And yeah. they played like that. And for us to still hang in there and and, and get the second, uh, you know, come back and get the draw, it's all in all, it's, it, it's not a bad day for us, to be honest with you. I know they made a lot of changes, but we have to remember, we're not up to full fitness either. So... You know, it's a bit of a half a dozen of one and half a dozen of the other, but we'll be ready for them. We have them inside the first six games. We'll be ready. Do you think that you can even read too much into that second half, seeing as Chelsea changed the majority of their team? Um, I don't care. I take it. <laughs> it's, Chelsea. it's Chelsea. No, look, a lot of people are going to say you can't really. They did make changes. We kind of done that when we made changes in the second half of a lot of games. Couldn't really take out from it, but... At the end of the day, it's Chelsea. They're wearing that blue kit. It's in Stamford Bridge. I couldn't care less who they play. I couldn't care if they play out the under nines. I want to. I want to get a result. All right, Dave. Thanks, thanks for coming on, on and bring on the Gooners on Sunday. Oh, I can't wait. Roll, roll <laughs> on the Gooners. I absolutely can't wait. We're going to eat them alive. They lost two one <laughs> Chelsea. We drew two all. We're ready for them, and hopefully, we can um, take what's left of a Boomy Yanks hair lad. <laughs> <laughs> How Big. much do you want to be mine, Series champion? <laughs> Oh, look, I don't care. I'll take him. When we won the Audi Cup, when we won the Audi Cup, I had a drink and a, and a little bit of a celebration. You know, you have to as a Spurs fan. Look, I just want to kind of echo what Brian said. I, I know there's been a lot of negativity around, you know, for the last, look, let's be honest, two years. It's, it's, it's been a hard slog, a hard grind. But look, the new season's upon us. Let's see what happens. Let's try and get rid of some of this negativity. Let's go into it with some positivity. You know, we've new no Spirito Santo. It's not the manager we all wanted. But look, I just have a feeling this guy is going to do a good job. I have a feeling we might be a bit better than what people think. You know, we can we can we can get another two or three signings in. The window's not up over yet. So look, keep keep the optimism, remain positive, and as always, in Nuno we trust. And come on, you Spurs! Right, on, big you yourself Spurs. up, David. Thanks for coming on, mate. Uh, we'll see you next time. And as always, come, come on, on, you Spurs! Come on, you Spurs! <laughs>